it's our life on the water issue. And um, every year for probably the past six or so years, maybe six or seven years, Savannah Magazine has taken this opportunity when it's too hot to do anything else to celebrate the water. And uh, we do it, we've done it many different ways. I've actually gotten to ride up the Savannah River on an oil tanker and um, you know go out on you know environmental eco tours and different things and so each issue we try to you know experience something new different side of living on the water this time it was a lot about you know asking how we could be better coastal citizens so it's a lot about the environment and um, what individual savannians just normal people can do to take better care of the water well, first of all, we love Savannah Magazine. Yeah. <laughs> they, um, they've been really good to us. And uh, the whole article, you know, we really wanted to move past um, our things that have happened in the recent past on the river, the fish kill in particular. Um, and I think the article really reflects um, how multifaceted our organization is and what we can do for clean water in the area. That's our landscape. That's the beautiful environment that we get to live in every day. And so that's what we're working to protect. And that's what everyone should be conscious of. It's Ashley Workman and she's been working really hard to um, bring about some legislature on Tybee Island that where they won't sell plastic bags because there's this thing called the Great Atlantic Garbage Patch that consists of plastics that are breaking down into microplastics and getting into our food chain and it's pretty disturbing stuff and one of the main ways that we can fight that is just by not using plastic bags, bringing our own bag. So she's been working really hard, she's a big surfer and you know a big uh, proponent of clean water. She's been working really hard on, out on Tybee to get that passed and that'll be happening, the, the vote will take place in September. So we were really excited about helping her get the word out and I mean that's what we're looking for, you know with each issue we have a theme but we also are just looking for Savannians who are you know taking this city to the next level and helping us define what we want to be you know in the centuries to come. How, what, what kind of lifestyle do we want to have what kind of values do we have and you know really telling their stories is telling the story of Savannah. The Savannah magazine is about the uh, kids from the improv Savannah who came out and were interviewed on the app. We provided the perfect background experience for Savannah to get a great story. I had an opportunity to create a business and the resources to make it what I wanted to be. I took the stuff I loved most and I built a business around it and I get to share that.